Aaron Seen here with the exercise of the week, shoulder press. As always, I'm going to show you three things in the barbell shoulder press exercise so that if you do them, you'll optimize the results of the exercise, you'll work out safer, you'll work out less, and you'll get more results. So let's get right into it. You don't need a bunch of fancy equipment, you don't need a $10,000 shoulder press machine, you don't need a shoulder press station. I have basic crude equipment here in my studio. I got a, a bench, I turn backwards into the power rack and I got a straight bar. So you wanna get not too wide grip about shoulder width apart. You wanna get underneath the bar and sit up nice and tall and lean back so you got a backing on the seat. Chin high, big breath in. Exhale, drive right as you pass the chin. Bring the head down and looking at yourself in the mirror. You're essentially keeping the path of this bar right through the middle of your spine. You get the head out of the way of the back, pause, big breath in. Ah! You wanna drive that head down as soon as that bar passes the chin. It gives you more leverage of putting the tension right on the shoulder versus keeping that chin up like this the whole time. That's not nearly as good, that's a no-no. Big breath in, ah! Right, ah! Man, the tension, when you drive that chin down, immediately after the bar passes the chin, you're gonna feel that, that tension go right to the, the good tension, right to the shoulder and the deltoid. Big breath in, ah! For two seconds, get a nice symmetric squeeze on the shoulders at the top. Big breath in, ah! Pause, two, and one. Last one, big breath in. Ah. Squeeze, two, and one. Ending technique, partial range, you come down. Light tap on the head, nice slow negative down. So that last repetition was a partial range of motion. Came halfway down, tap the head lightly of course and then drive it straight back up just to get a little bit more extra in at the end of the set. So in the past you might have heard that it was not good to move the head uh, and come to the rear of the head for shoulder press. That went through the, the fitness circles for 10, 15, 20 years and it, it is true if you don't move the head out of the way to the front a little bit. So the point is that you can bring the bar to the rear and I'll demonstrate a couple repetitions Bringing the head out of the way to the back and keeping the bar in front of the chin is my favorite. Um, I wouldn't go as deep with this alternate technique that I'm going to share with you of bringing the head forward and bringing the bar behind the head, but I'll go ahead and give you a demonstration and we'll talk about the three things that I did to optimize the tension on the shoulder, the deltoid, that makes a big difference if you don't do them, those three techniques. Nice tight grip, get underneath the bar, sit up nice and tall, get your back up on the back on the seat behind it, big breath in, ooh. <clears throat> so the head comes forward. <clears throat> so essentially the bar's still going down pretty much close straight through the middle of the spine, your cervical spine. <clears throat> Do a couple par partial range of motions. Ah. Ah. Three, two, ah, ah, ah. Mm. So the reason why you hear me or some other people making those kinds of noises at the end of the set is it's a way to pull the belly button in and do get those last two or three repetitions safely because you're you're tight sensing up your your core and you're alleviating pressure in your head and you're letting that air out and your forces whether you're punching throwing or in this case lifting slowly resistance to failure when you blow that air out right when you start the positive it tightens your core up and you can you can't shoot a cannon out of a canoe the canoe is moving in the water the cannonball is not going to go very far your belly button and that breath out tightens up your core and you can you can go a lot more tension or shoot the cannonball further in the target muscle. So the three things that I did and I want you to do on your barbell shoulder press is I want you getting the head out of the way to the rear 
bringing that chin up nice and high, stopping the bar by the Adam's apple or by the neck for the ladies. Pause for a couple seconds, boom! And then drive that chin down right after the bar, passes the chin, and look straight in the mirror, and that's gonna bring the tension right to the deltoid. And then the third thing that I did was the timing of the breath. Uh, slash, slow down the repetition speed. Three second negative, pause for a couple seconds, bah! Maybe a little bit faster than three second positive, maybe a two second positive. Two second isometric squeeze at the top when the deltoid's in the cr contracted position. Breathing in, three seconds down nice and slow. Pause. Isometric tension again in the bottom uh, position, the stretch position. Bah! The timing of moving that chin down is imperative at putting the, the focus right on top of the deltoid. Second option is coming to the behind the head, but getting the head out of the way to the front. So that will let the, the medial head and the rear head of the shoulder get a little bit more work. It definitely feels different. So there are some options. Now, I want you to understand that this YouTube channel with the exercise of the week, it's gonna be a playlist, because a lot of questions that I've been getting is, what body parts to do on what days? You see, it's, uh, it's, called, a body, it's called a split. What split are you doing? How are you splitting the workouts up? How often are you working the shoulders during the week? Are you combining it with another body part? That's the confusing part for a lot of people, is it's ever changing, and it's different for entry level, intermediate, and advanced. If anybody will comment down below and uh, they ask me to start the conversation with me, I'll put my email address down there and I will send you a workout log sheet of how to do the body part split for intermediate, beginner, or advanced. But this YouTube channel with the exercise of the week is going to be like an exercise library that you can use with my unique techniques to optimize your workout. So, Comment below if you like this. Uh, if you didn't, tell me why and tell me what you'd like to see. And uh, let's start the conversation because we're better together. I learn from you guys as well, not that I know everything. And stay in tune with this exercise of the week because it's going to be on the playlist on this channel. And I'm going to do uh, one exercise per body part so you have uh, a really nice variety of exercises to utilize. So there you go. Keep rocking and rolling. I'll see you here next Friday for sure, and maybe even before, if I get a, uh, another idea of something that you guys could find useful and interesting. So you have a nice evening. Make the rest of your life the best of your life. And everybody watching this at any age, gender, or fitness level does have the ability to change and make the rest of their life the best of their life. Sorry that I didn't have the cameraman today, so I'll see you next week.